Greetings and great day, beautiful people. Dr. Dominique Reese here, CEO of Reese Financial Services. And today I simply wanted to talk to you about risks involved with investing. All right, let's dive right in. So there are many risks involved with investing and it's important that you as a consumer and as an investor understand the risk that you're facing. So there are two types of risk when investing. The first is systematic, and the second is unsystematic. Now, systematic risks, I like to remember them by the acronym MIPER. So that's market risk, interest rate risk, purchasing power risk, otherwise known as inflation, exchange rate risk, reinvestment rate risk. So whenever you're investing, you are subject to these five major systematic risks. Then you have your unsystematic risk. And I like to remember this based on A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> A is for accounting. So there's accounting risk. There's business risk. There's country or political risk. There's default or credit risk. There's executive risk, financial risk, and government risk. So why should you care? Well, here's what's in it for you. When investing in securities, you will be subject to risk. And based on the type of security, you will be subject to different levels of risk. Smart investors want to mitigate risk, if not eliminate it altogether. Systematic risk cannot be eliminated. However, unsystematic risk can. And so when building a portfolio, you want to keep these risks in mind and choose assets that only fit your risk profile, but also keep your portfolio risk in mind, okay? So that's it for today. Dr. Dominique Reese, feel free to reach out with any questions, or if there is something that you'd like for me to cover, shoot me an email. Have a great day. Peace.